Come on in the kitchen. Come on in my kitchen. Come on in the kitchen. Let's jam. Hello. How y'all doing today? Come on in here. Listen, I'm Carlene Hatcher. And I just like to cook. I'm a mama that likes to cook well for my family. So come on in here and join me. Listen, I got spaghetti squash, but I'm cooking it as I will as if I was making hash brown potatoes, you know. But you still have to steam it in the oven. First things first, let's cut the spaghetti squash. This is some spaghetti squash. This is how it looks. You can cook it many ways, but you first must cook it in the oven. That's first thing. And steam it. And I'm getting ready to show you how I do that, okay? You're going to need a, uh, a spoon, you're going to need a fork, you're going to need a sharp knife, and you're going to need a pan that you have put aluminum foil on top, all right? And I'm going to tell you why. So let's sit, there, sit this here first. I'm going to move this because I don't want to cut a hole in my aluminum foil. All right, so we got to cut the squash open. Now, if you cut it the long way like I'm doing right now, you gotta have little short pieces. If you cut it this way, you'll have long pieces like spaghetti. You can do it any way you want, but because I'm making like, mine's like a hash brown potato, I did it the long way, so, cause I want them short, okay? All right. So, go ahead and just, <clears throat> it's a little tough when you first try to cut it, and I'm right here at the stem, so I gotta put a little pressure on it. Mm. When I'm cutting myself. All right, there we go. Got it open. That took a little, took a little, whew, that was like resistant training. All right, so this is when you need your spoon. You're gonna take and clean out the cavity, just like you would a regular squash or a, a pumpkin, you get the seeds out. Just clean it out and scrape it just so you don't get all the spaghetti out. You don't want to do that. Keep a bag handy where you can just toss that stuff right on in, right? So just clean it out like so. And that's what you want nice and clean spaghetti squash okay so do the same to the other side to the other one depends i don't know how many you want to this would feed a family one of them usually feed a family of four depending on the size of it they have it bigger but i've already prepared one but you know because i'm doing it like a hash brown potato everybody wants to eat them pretty fast so i cook more than one okay now if it's just you you just need one you'll probably put some something uh, way for a later day. So here we go. You don't need to wash it. I've already washed the outside, but you don't need to wash the inside. Now all you're gonna do is put a little salt on both of them and a little oil. Canola oil, olive oil, your choice, okay? This is when you just flip them face down. Oops. Face down like so. Put it in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes, okay? In the oven. I'm going to the oven and I want you to make sure you get your oven set on 425. That's all you need, 425, okay? All right. So, this is one that I've already prepared for you. And this here is one I'm getting ready to show you how you scrape out the insides, okay? Look, that's all you do, you take a fork. Can you see that? Take a fork and just scrape out the insides like so, like a spaghetti. See, and it looks just like spaghetti squash or hash brown potatoes. Now, if you go and cut it the short way, then you're gonna have longer strands of the spaghetti squash, and therefore, you can eat it more like a spaghetti if that's what you choose to do, okay? But we're eating it today like hash brown potatoes. We're gonna slice some onions up in here. 
put some seasoning on it. You could also do it like a scalloped potatoes. You could do all that with this, you know, with this spaghetti squash. Now, if you got uh, diabetes, high cholesterol, all that stuff, watching what you eat, you got any kind of heart disease, this is excellent for you to eat other than eating white potatoes, okay? You want to make sure that you eat what's best for you, all right? So you scrape it out as good as you can. See, that's a, that made a lot. Let me wash my hands real quick. All right, that made a lot of uh, spaghetti squash, right? Look, that's that one spaghetti squash. This is what it costs probably be a dollar and fifty cents for that one squash, okay? So this is what you do. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn on my stove real quick. I'm gonna heat it up, get it going. Okay, I'm gonna heat it up. Now I'm going to put a tablespoon of oil in this pan where I'm going to put my spaghetti squash, okay? A tablespoon there. And in here, I'm going to put about a half a cup of water and that's where I'm going to put my veggies. All right? I'm going to dice up the onions because that's what I'm going to put in here in my spaghetti squash. So I just dice them up the size I want them. I love onions, so I, I like to put a lot of onions in mine. It don't really matter how you dice them up, because I just want to make sure I get onions on every bite, because I love onions. All right, so I'm going to use all of this. Well, not all of it. That's enough. That'll work. So I'll put all that in. That was a big onion. Okay. So that goes in here. This is my spaghetti squash. Now I'm just going to season it with salt and pepper. And I like to do that once it's in the pan. So I'm going to sit this to the side and I'll grab my veggies I've already cut up. I have in here cauliflower. I have broccoli. I have carrots, zucchini, and squash. Now, because I put in cauliflower and broccoli, cauliflower takes a little bit longer to cook. You know, it's the white broccoli. So it takes a little bit longer to cook than uh, all the rest of these veggies. So I sliced it thin like this. So it won't be in there forever. All right, it won't be cooking for a long time. So I'm gonna finish cutting up this squash right here. And the key to this is that you want everything to get done at the same time so you kind of dice it all the same size. So you won't be trying to wait on, you know, something's overcooked and something's not overcooked. So this is what you do. And then go ahead and slice that thicker piece in half and slice those like so. So everything will be about the same width and it takes up the same time to cook, all right? all you do all right so put that all in there my water is steaming over there so come on over to the stove with me and I'm getting ready to show you the next steps all right so with the, uh, the broccoli mixture I'm just going to go ahead and pour that in and then I'll cover that and leave it alone right here my pan is nice and warm. That piece of broccoli that flew over there. My pan is nice and warm. So now I'm getting ready to just put my spaghetti squash in. So just put it all in the pan like so. Just like eating half brown potatoes. If you want to make it like scalloped potatoes, you can add cheese, egg and all those goodies to that. But of course, you know, cheap kids always want to add cheese to everything. Let me grab the salt and pepper. The kids want to add cheese to everything, so they'll eat theirs more like scalloped potatoes. All right, so this is how you do it. You cook it in the oven 
On 425, adding your salt right here, adding your pepper. You cook it in the oven on 425 for 25 to 30 minutes until it's nice and tender. You can check it with a fork and see how it is, how tender it is. Once it's nice and tender, you take it out, let it cool off for about five minutes, five to ten minutes, and then you scrape the bowl, the spaghetti squash bowl. That's what you do. Alright, so this is cooking, and just like you cook hash brown potatoes, you're going to wait until it browns on one side, then you flip it over to the next side. Okay, that's all you do. Many ways to make spaghetti squash. You can take your spaghetti squash and you can also, when it comes out of the oven, if you want to eat it out of the spaghetti squash bowl, take and put meatballs in there and put your marinara sauce and cheese on top. The things you can do with the food that we, I never knew about. I never knew about spaghetti squash until I got older. You know, I, I started, I wanted to eat right. So, you know, I started finding out things I can do different foods that I've never tasted before and learned how to cook them. Ask questions. You, you don't know. If you never had it, then you can ask somebody. Somebody somewhere knows something. Okay? So, I'll let that sit. See, they look just like hash brown potatoes. Just like your hash brown potatoes. Yes. And they smell so good. Yes, they smell delicious. They don't brown as fast as potatoes do, but they're good. And they taste, they have that little sweet taste like the yellow gold potatoes. So you kind of yellow gold. So here is my steamed veggies. I'm just gonna go over and flip those. Today is veggie day in the house. We have, you know, we eat vegetarian twice a week. So today is the day that we're going, we're eating veggies. Uh-oh, got stuff on the floor. I can flip. So, once all of my water cooked out in here, and I have the heat on high, once the color of your veggies start turning really bright, that's when, and then all your water should be cooked out by then. So I, I have the heat on high, all the water cooks out, and that is when I add a little bit of water, to it. I mean a little bit of oil to it, and then I put my salt and pepper on it and stir fry. And they brown, and nice and good. Can you see how good they brown? See that? That's what you want. I like it. I like it when it browns. So I put them close together. Put that heat on high. Flatten them down. I already know the kids don't want some cheese, so I'm going to grab the cheese so I can put it on theirs because that's what they want. Cheese on everything. Let me grab the cheese I didn't pull out. So. I have a little mozzarella and a little bit of Meister cheese. Meister cheese is one of our favorites in the house. We put it on everything. So, I got a couple pieces of that. I'm going to put on top of that spaghetti squash. Because you know it's already done. So all I'm really doing is putting a little brown on top and cooking those onions in. All right? Now once I put the cheese on top, I put a little bit more pepper. And I put the top on it so it can steam and melt the cheese real good. All right. So all this water should be cooked out of my, look at how pretty this, these veggies look. All right. That, that spoon is a little flimsy. I gotta grab me another spoon. All right. Okay, here we go. With all the oil, all the water cooked out of here. All I wanna do is take and put a tablespoon of oil of, or butter, but I use the oil on mine. Add salt and pepper to taste. Add a little parsley. 
and we're good to go. And you want to soften up your veggies first. Once you soften your veggies up, uh, you put a little oil in there of your choice and you get to eat them and be merry. And they look good, they taste good, everybody will be satisfied and everybody will be happy. Promise you, vegetables are so, eat the vegetables. I hate to hear people say they don't like veggies. I'm like, why you don't like veggies? Like, why not? Okay, a little bit more salt and pepper. I like to season it all over. Yep. I don't like for my veggies to get over soft, too soft, when you can't eat them, you can't enjoy them. I, that, that, I don't like that. They're mushy then. I think they're mushy when they're like that, so I don't like it that way. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plate this stuff. First things first. Spaghetti squash. Look at that. That's what the mozzarella do for you. Cheesy, cheesy, cheesy. I think I might have to eat some cheese today. I'm enjoying how this looks. All right. And here is the vegetables. That's a plate full of veggies. A plate full of veggies. That's all you got. That was quick. It's easy. It's simple. It's healthy. And most of all, it tastes good. It's good for you. So you all need to start making this stuff here. Let me see. I can bring my salt pepper just in case. I like to have a lot of pepper on my uh, potatoes. All right. So here I am with the hash brown, well, spaghetti squash. I call it hash brown potatoes because that's the way I've made it today. And I promise you, it tastes just like hash brown potatoes, okay? But I'm going to taste this. You know it's always rude to eat and don't feed your company. Here. Go ahead and taste it. And tell me how you like it. So good. Lord, I ask you to bless it. In Jesus' name, amen. Mm-hmm. That's brown potato. With steamed vegetables. You don't want your vegetables. You want to be able to crunch on them, okay? Cause, so you don't want them too hard and you don't want them too soft. So make it where you can just take a nice little crunch. And you're still happy. I'm gonna put a little bit more salt in there and a little bit more pepper. Listen, I appreciate y'all. I appreciate you coming in the room. Try the spaghetti squash and try it this way. And hopefully you'll like it. Don't forget to push share. Check out my YouTube pages and um, subscribe, like, and share those as well. Comment and let me know what you think and if you want to see me make something different you never had or whatever it is. I'll be more than happy to do it. I love y'all. Don't forget to laugh because laughter does your heart good just like Madison. Come on in the kitchen. Come on in the kitchen. Come on in the kitchen. Let's chat.